Hey, Double A, coming at you again with another video, so we're going to go head out to the port here in a minute. I hope you ladies and gentlemen are doing well, as well as the other 60-something genders there is I have no clue what it is. I want to make sure that I don't offend people, you know, because you know how I feel about offending people. We didn't start the fire. Oh wait a minute, yeah, dude. All right, well that's warming up. So, um, you know, I was looking at this this morning because I come outside to try to find my jacket and uh, it wasn't out here. But anyhow, so I was looking at this this morning and uh, I think I can go thinner. I think I can. I think I can go thinner. And, or I could, you know, dress this up a little bit. Or, I could, uh, work on something else. We could build a sword. <laughs> As if! Well, we can talk about a few things. So, uh, last video. Had some really great advice come in, um, about things that I was doing. So, uh, Ben Toons mentioned, find a place on here that has the most mass, which is usually going to be about center. Put an X there and make that your hammer blow. Move the piece, don't move the hammer. So, you know, consistent blows in the same place, moving a piece, and that's the hammer. As far as the, uh, this stupid thing wanting to twist, uh, JT over at Drayson's Forge mentioned you shave some of it down on the sides. That should help with the twisting bit and whatnot. He also mentioned that this peen, I don't know if y'all can see this peen, man, but it is, uh, this is a hammer crappy. It's, uh, the peen has become needing it this deformed, so I'm going to have to, yeah, it's really deformed. Anyhow, uh, he said to shave this down and, uh, you know, of course we'll have to round it some. Give it more of a blunt edge. So that's that's another thing that we can do. Uh, now, I had to work later than I usually do today, so I don't have a whole lot of time to do this. Uh, what other advice? Another advice was uh, keep it red hot and um, ball feet hammer, which I, I don't have at the time. Uh, I got a rounding hammer that I ordered from uh, County Line Forge. I'm just waiting for that to come in. But uh, let's see here. Oh, what else? Y'all can check out the comment section of the last video and find them. You see, I got a couple of hammer beams. I struck it, but you know, I don't plan on using this forever. You know, what I'm noticing is how wide this face is, and I'm finding myself saying, hey, you know, I wish it was a little bit wider. A little bit wider. So. Maybe a uh, actual anvil in the future is uh, at hand. Now, I don't know that I will go with a old anvil like everybody wants to get an old Peter Wright. It would be beautiful. Uh, I love old stuff, but you know, most likely it would be one of the newer style anvils that you pick up for however much, if I can afford it. That is, if I can afford it. But right now, this railroad track anvil that was given to me by the great Mike Gunnell. Over at Fox Run Forge, God bless you, Mike. Prayers are with you. Uh, continue to get better, brother, if you see this at some point in time. Um, it's working beautifully, so, as is the advice that he gave me, even though I broke off that, uh, that bolt. That bolt's probably the original bolt, in it, so, you know, it's probably a hundred and something years old. So, um, yeah, I need to try to preheat this. Let's go with this. Um, I'll try to straighten that up. Of course, just out some. Make a neat little letter opener. Maybe I can dress up that head. Alright, let's see if we can draw this out to make some type of a letter opener.
couple places on this thing where it's uh, got an uneven angle and uh, it's messing with my eyes because it's making me think the blade is not straight when it was straight. Now I've gotten it out of straight. Uh, so it's not running true with the rest of it. So uh, that's something I'll have to fix in the grinding process. I'm going to have to get the blade twisted back around. If I can. starting to realize these things the more I use and the more they work loose I then busted the pin in them the first time had to put another pin in there and uh, they're really wonky and uh, it's not the best job in where I'm starting to see just how bad of a job it actually was um, I can do better I've got to do better but a good pair of tongs would be lovely I managed to save the twist for the most part, but the way I forged it coming off of this flat spot and making sure I was using the square, as you see how it comes out of this twist and it comes into the top, um, same thing happens on the bottom. So it's, a, it's a neat little effect there. Uh, of course, this would be double-edged um, since it's going to be a package opener, you know, a um, oh, letter opener. It's going to be for my boss and his wife. Um, for Christmas so you know I just got to get it spit shined and prettied up and get good quality to it I wanted to make sure that it looks like a uh, continues to look like a railroad spike but you could tell it was made out of a railroad spike because they uh, both love history and um, repurposing things so looks like I kind of messed up the twist a little bit back here but you know I'm learning all right, so it's cooled down. Let's see. I'm gonna wire brush it up and um, take a look at it and and uh, see what all needs to be done. Uh, you want to know where not to buy a wire cup brush at? Harbor Freight. That's where. Not unless you like these things flying off at ungodly speeds and stabbing you in the face and the neck and everywhere else. All right. So after brushing it off, I'm, uh, I'm not really seeing any cracks or uh, shuts. So. What I am seeing is the fact that I need to keep my piece cleaner. <laughs> so, um, for the most part, we got her straight. I can bend over a little bit. So there you have it. Bevel start meadow. It'll come to a nice point, and it should have a double edge on it. And um, that will be a large letter opener. That was um, definitely fun and challenging. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It is um, it's 11:30, so um, I am going to take a shower and go to bed. Um, yeah, love piece of chicken grease.